a very unique propeller that you're offering to the market now. Yes, uh, uh, here at uh, BDC we also offer the um, GT propellers, it's made in Italy. And uh, this particular model is a constant speed propeller, it's electric in flight. And uh, we also offer hydraulic. Okay. Now, when you say constant speed, what does that mean exactly? A constant speed is uh, basically you set the RPM uh, while you're flying on the inside the, uh, the airplane. There is an instrument, you set your, uh, your RPM. And uh, what it does, it controls the, um, the engine uh, revolution by changing the pitch of the propeller. Now, the way you do that is that Rotax gives you for every RPM, cruising RPM speed, it gives you the manifold pressure. So you have to set your manifold pressure with the correct RPM, and uh, then the propeller will keep the speed constant. Now, what advantage is that to someone, say, on an aircraft such as yours? Uh, the big difference on putting a constant speed propeller would be your takeoff and your landing. You're going to have, uh, first of all, full power at takeoff because the engine will, is going to be able to rev to maximum RPM. And while the airplane starts to roll, the propeller will increase the pitch to keep the max RPM and to not over rev the engine. Now, in, um, once you reach safety altitude, you switch to cruise mode and you set your RPM and, and uh, with, the, with, the, with the gas, you're going to adjust the manifold pressure. Now, is this very difficult to do then? Like, is there a lot of setting up initially? No, it's very easy. The only thing is that you need a, a training with, a, with a, let's say, one hour with a flying instructor to show you how a constant speed works. It's very important that you keep in, your, uh, in mind how this system works. Because, uh, for example, the sinking ratio on landing is very, very high. In the Puma, we can reach 1,000 feet per minute uh, descending rate. Just because of the propeller? Just because of the propeller. Because the propeller goes to fine pitch and is acting like an aerobrake. And uh, so what is the advantage of by doing that? That your landing is very uh, steep and very, very short. So, for instance, if you're going on floats and, and you have to land into a lake, you can pass over the trees and just go down in the water very quick. And so you, you, you don't lose a lot of uh, distance uh, of water, basically. Now, to install that propeller on, for example, a normal 912 uh, Rotax 100 horse, is there much for the customer to do for the It's extremely simple because, uh, as you can see, GT provides everything. The propeller is mounted on the flange. In this case, we have 50 millimeter flange uh, uh, extension. This extension, yes, and, but most of the time, this is connected directly to the to the flange, and uh, it provides you. It gives you the brush. As you can see here, there are uh, the brushes are right in the center of the shaft. Um, GT make the brushes very very small, and the reason for that is because the peripheral speed is very low, so there is almost no consumption of brushes. Now. Um, many other manufacturers they use uh, big brushes on the front. That leads you to the to the worn out of the brushes uh, more often. That's the difference. After that, what you do, you just run the wire inside the airplane. There are only two wires, as you can see, plus and minus. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter which way you connect it. You just put them inside the controller. The controller is connected to the RPM of the engine. And that's it. There is only one hole that you have to do, standard hole, instrument hole of 3 inch and 1 eighth inside the cabin. And so when you want to engage the propeller, you just turn the switch on and it yes. automatically engages? Yes, it, it automatically engages. And uh, if you don't want to use, uh, if you want to keep it fixed pitch, you just leave it on manual. In manual, there is no power and it's acting like a normal uh, um, fixed pitch propeller. If you have, let's say, a um, problem with the propeller, one of the advantage of the constant of this type of electric uh, system is that the blade stays in that position. It doesn't move. It has uh, brakes all the time on it, so it doesn't go. It doesn't uh, move from from the pos from the settings that you left. Now, is this a new propeller to the market, or has it been out there for a while? No, this is a. Uh, it was it was out. Uh, I believe around six years, seven years in the market, and. Uh, the advantage of this over the hydraulic is that the installation is very simple, very, very simple. In the hydraulic, you have to buy a governor and, uh, you know, you have to do the connection with the oil of the engine. It's uh, the advantage of the hydraulic is that is lighter. This is heavier as an installation respect the hydraulic because you have the motor is mounted on the front, the hub is big. It's a heavy assembly. 
but still, the blades are extremely light. They are made out of wood and composite, so the inertia moment for the Rotax is still within the value. Now, what about the length of the blade? For example, do you, does someone needs a shorter or needs a longer? What yes, the blades, GT provide the blades according to the airplane. Uh, they can go up to 2 meter, uh, point 0.2 on, uh, on, uh, on diameter. In particularly on the Puma, the average range between 168 centimeter to uh, 182 centimeter. And what about the weight compared to, say, a, a normal two-blade wood propeller? Oh, the difference is big. This this uh, system weighed uh, uh, 12, 13 pounds mounted. Okay, um, the uh, the fixed pitch is about six pounds, seven pounds. The fixed pitch. So if somebody wanted to get in touch with you to get more information on the propeller, where would they go? They can contact me at 514-581-5577. Uh, they can uh, contact me through my website, puma-aircraft.com, or they can go to the GT website, uh, it's uh, gtpropellers.com. Okay. Now, delivery times on a propeller like this, uh, what are we looking at? This propeller is around three weeks delivery time. Uh, fixed pitch propellers is two weeks delivery. Okay. And are they available in both a tracker and a pusher configuration? Yes, they are uh, available tractor pusher uh, configuration and also uh, feather configuration for uh, gliders and um, they also have uh, reverse, uh, re um, pitch, for reverse pitch for uh, float operation. Okay. Now, for example, say you were working on, or you're flying on floats, is there any protection built into the airplane for yes. the water application? They have uh, two systems uh, on, the, on the GT. One is with a leading edge in uh, urethane, like this one. The other one is with a metal leading edge. So, is this nose cone also supplied with the propeller? Yes, it's supplied, it's supplied with the propeller. When you buy the propeller, they give you the nose cone. It's not painted. You have to paint it according to your airplane. And, but it's all supplied. All the hardware, everything is supplied with it. Okay, and how easy is that to put on? Oh, it's very easy. You just put it on like that. And it you put the screws, screws on. The yeah, very easy.